it's not a real quiz, but this is going to be very, very similar to tomorrow's quiz. I'm going to ask you to write down some of the organs I'm showing you and ask you to write down their function. So it's a good practice. If you can get a lot of these, then it means you're in pretty good shape. Um, so obviously this is a, a dissected frog. It's opened up so that you can identify a bunch of the organs. And probably right now as you look at this, you can probably name off and look at this five or six of them. But we're going to go through one by one. All right, so let's start. This is what it will look like tomorrow on your quiz. So write down number one on your paper that I have taken out. First, write down the name of the organ that these arrows are pointing to in this frog. Okay? So write down the organ that these three things are pointing to. Somebody needs to study. All right, raise your hand if you want to tell me if you know what those organs are. John? Yeah, that's the liver. Yes. Yeah, and there's three lobes to it. It's brown, it's really big. That's the liver. It's sort of right in the center of the frog. Well, it kind of gave it away. It had three arrows. Yeah, and it might not tomorrow, but. So uh, you don't have to write it down right now, but. What is the function of the liver? So you're on your quiz, you're going to have to do that, identify the organ, and then next to it, write what it does. What's the liver do, Rachel? It makes bile. It makes bile and also filters blood. Do we need to know that too? Yeah, um, you should know them both. But if you get one right, you'll get the answer. So the liver should be like, a very easy one to get dropped. Yeah. So there's a some of these are very easy, and there's a couple that are a little more challenging. So that's the liver. This oh, next one. I don't know. Oh, okay. I know okay. So again, this is pointing to this little red, reddish thing there, that little. Now you got to look at sort of where it's located, <coughs> what they're doing to get a view of that to help you identify this this order. Write it down. Now there's two that you might confuse. Okay? And I'll tell you how to know which is which in a second. Alexis, what did you say that was? Spleen? It's actually not the spleen. It's gallbladder. Yeah. So why how do you know it's the gallbladder, not the spleen? It's under the gallbladder It's under the liver. It's, see they're lifting up one of the lobes of the liver to see this little round organ. Lots of times, like in your frogs, almost all of them are sort of deflated little, sort of like pea mains. Sometimes they're reddish in color. More often they're greenish in color, but in this one it happens to be reddish. But it's under the liver, small little circular organ. That's, That's the gallbladder. That's red. Or blackish, I guess. Yeah, um, What is its function? Yeah. It stores the bile. So the liver produces bile, and then it's stored in that gallbladder. Is like this. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, this is one of the tougher ones. So a couple things. First off, on this picture, all the digestive organs have been removed from this frog to make it easier oh, to view the organs that are sort of farther back. Again, you don't see any stomach or small intestine or anything there. So what you're looking at, this arrow is pointing this little thing there. There's some over here as well. So anyone think they know what this is? Yeah? No. Mr. D. Here? Sperm duct. What are these two things? I don't, that might be one of them. Maybe I'm giving away. But yeah, sperm duct is a very, very narrow, very thin tube that's in the trough. Uh, and it travels taking sperm cells, a sperm duct. And as we talked about it being in class, it brings sperm cells from the testes down to the cloaca. It's a very, very narrow tube. Sort of all windy. Alright. Now this one is 
is actually pointing not to this, that'll be later, but to these bumps up here, top of the jaw, top of the, the roof of the frog's mouth. I don't know, remember what we call these? No? They're a special type of teeth. They're vomiting teeth. They're like bumps or ridges, because remember, frogs don't chew their food up. They basically grab it and swallow it whole. And so these bumps, these vomiting teeth, are basically for just holding the prey so it can't escape until the frog can swallow it. One that some of you saw in your frog and some of you did not. And this is pretty variable. Sometimes there's a lot of it, like there is in this frog. Sometimes there's less, like in most of your frogs that I saw. But this too windy, there's a lot of it in this frog. Um, do you see that? Some of you saw it, some of you did not. Uh, yeah, Matthew? Um, is it the eggs? You're close, but it's not, the eggs themselves are sort of speckled black sort of color, but it's related. What is it, Alexis? Okay. Not quite ovaries, but you're very close. Oviduct. These wine, these are the tubes that will carry all those eggs. How do you tell the difference between oviduct and oviduct? The ovary and the oviduct, you said? Sperm duct, there's not nearly as much of it. The sperm duct is pretty small, narrow tube. It just connects the testes to the um, cloaca, whereas usually the oviduct, there's a lot more of it. It's bigger than the sperm duct, and it's uh, there's just sort of a lot more. And that's jo its job is to do what? Trip the eggs. Carry eggs from the ovaries to the cloaca. Oh, Go ahead and try and write down this one. This one should be not too difficult, I would say. I think I've guessed this one. Right. The probe is touching it, and so is the arrow here. Oh. Sydney? What's that? No? Oh my god! No, it's not. Joe? No? No? Large intestine. It is the large intestine. Again, look. Here you have a narrow tube which turns into this larger tube. The larger tube is the large intestine. There will be 10 of them, but here. I told you this video. Large intestine, what does it do? It absorbs nutrients. Right? Absorbs water, ah. not nutrients. Nutrients are already absorbed by the time the uh, digested food reaches the large intestine. All that's left is for it to absorb water. I know all the functions. It's just... This one's not too difficult. Oh, it, Again, oh, so write it down, write it down. See if you get it. Grant, what is it? No? Again, here you want to go on the color. Kidneys. Those are kidneys. Remember, they are red. They're towards the back of the frog. What color is the screen? Red, usually. Red. The screen is circular. It's a little ball. The kidneys are longer organs that are much larger. And they're way towards the back. And kidneys, what do they do? They like waste. Remove waste from the blood. They form urine.
Yeah. Now, I guess I gave this one away earlier. Oh, no, yes, I got no. it. I got it. No. Yes, I got it. So what? I'm going to write it down if you haven't already. You just stay at your house. Spencer, what are those? Columns? No. Oh my god. Just oh guess. Fat bodies. No. Oh, I was just going to say it's a mobile. City? Those are testes. Oh, what? Two of them. They're fairly small. A lot of you did not see. Um, See yes. them well in your frog, but again, they're connected here by what? Sperm ducts. Testes produce sperm. And testosterone. This is another one that should be fairly easy. Rachel, lungs. those are the lungs, spongy. They're usually bluish or black color, spongy. On each side, two on, one on each side, up towards the top of the frog, the interior side of the frog. And they obviously allow the frog to, to breathe, to take an oxygen, get rid of the carbon dioxide. Raise your hand, please. I'm not ready. Raise your hand. You know it. Kevin? That's the stomach. Again, they're lifting up the liver so that they can touch the stomach there. What is it? What happens there? Digestion. Yep, digestion. Food is broken down in the stomach. Can we just write digested? Yeah, that's fine. I don't, you don't need to copy all these functions exactly. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Okay. Now we're looking at the arrow. Not, so what was what would this line be pointing to? I'll just ask you that. What is this line pointing to? That's No? Where what is it underneath? That's the gall letter. All right, but the arrow is actually pointing to this. Shh. AJ? No? What? Look at what the arrow is pointing to. Don't. You got to really focus on that because some things will be in the same vicinity, Grant. I don't know. I think it's small. Yeah, it's a small one. Oh, this is an outrage. No, uh. Yellow spaghetti is stuff. Shh. No. I'm not talking. I got one. Small intestine are responsible for what? Absorption, Absorption and digestion. Digestive worries. The spleen is kind of in with the intestines and stuff. So you have to move that stuff out of the way to see the spleen. So the gall, even though the gallbladder in these pictures looks very similar, the key is where is it? Is it up near the liver or is it down near the intestines? That's what you can use to help you figure out which is which. Spleen does what? City? I don't know. I'm not sure. What, so what are these? It's not one of your questions. What? No. Spleen. Is it, oh, wow. What are these things? <laughs> Some of you saw <laughs> them. Oh, eggs. Those, Those are eggs. eggs. That's oh what the God, eggs actually so look like. Today, they're sort of speckled. They're, little, they're a sort of black dots inside of the oak duck. Why does it destroy our species? And they, um, I guess recycle would be a better word because eventually red blood cells stop working okay. and the contents are recycled in the spleen. I understand. Wait, wait, wait. 
Now this is a view of another organ that you already saw. What is it? It's a spleen again. Oh, yeah, little ball. red ball Ooh. underneath the digestive organ. Are we done now? What do you have? Fat bodies. Those are the fat bodies. Fine. Orange, yeah. yellowish organs. They're sort of spread wherever they, they can be in there. Those are the fat bodies. What do they do? They provide food. Store energy for the frog to use when it needs it. They uh, provide energy. Store energy for hydrogen. Ready to talk quick? Like Write it down. This is another easy one. John, that's a heart. I have a question. Again, in the in the bra, you can see pretty clearly main trim on each side and then a ventricle on the bottom. See, that one kind yeah, of this looks one looks like a little Valentine's Day heart. Yeah. That's, that's because it only has the two atria and one ventricle. Why does it look a little lower? I don't know, it just depends on that specific frog and its anatomy. Again, heart right in the middle, up high above the liver. Okay. I'm going to test another question tomorrow. Um, is it going to be like five points for the weight or the yeah, half and half. each of them? All right, so that's the heart. So it's out of 20 points? What's that? No, it's out of points. I'm not, yeah, probably 20. All right. Oh, we just went over it. Tympanum. Tympanum. That's, what does it do? Here, at least it here. It allows for the frog to be clear. We're on number 16. Well, you can count the screen twice. How many are we doing now? How many more? I think we're almost done. Well, wait, what was it? Frog? Frog and froggy here. Wait, what? What is this one pointing to? Tongue. Tongue. How is it connected to the frog? To the frog. To the front. It just kind of folds out and back in very quickly. Wouldn't you choke on it? No, because it'll go into his esophagus or into his trachea. Can you choke on your own tongue? Not really. Well, you go kind of fast. Yeah. Hold on there, Jimmy Johnson. Okay, where is it attached to? It's attached to the front of his mouth rather than like a human, where your, your tongue is attached to the back of your mouth. All right, now, let me, well, hold on, let me do this so you don't throw anything here. Let's look here. Raise your hand. Don't say them out loud, please, so that people can reveal. All right, what, raise your hand, tell me, what is this? Julia, this is liver, three lobes to liver. Raise your hand, tell me, what is this? Rachel, fat body. How about this? Heart. 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 Not, not a little difficult to see, but I think you can see here and, and here. Raise your hand. Got it. Lungs. Uh, how about this? Raise your hand. PJ. Stomach. Stomach. How about, now look carefully, right here. Garrett? Nope. Oh, here. John? What? Large intestine. This, see where it gets narrow? Now here it's large. That's large intestine. How about this? Spencer, small intestine. That's all you can see in this diagram. In order to see the gallbladder, what would I have to lift up? A liver would be up here. Where would I find the spleen? Down here. All right, so later on, 